everybody and welcome back to another video. I know what you're gonna say, you know, I'm perfectly fine today. I don't know what you're talking about. Whatever, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 200,000 subscribers. And no, I do not have a mood. Anyways, enjoy the video or don't, it, whatever's fine. Stupid. Make a stupid sandwich to be on the stupid day. Hey, um, I'm start working on dinner. Fine, I wasn't doing anything. I guess I'll just leave. You okay? I thought you were gonna help me make the pork chops today. No, do I look like I wanna help you make pork chops today? What's wrong? Don't look at me like that, stupid bear face with your stupid bear tiny face. hat your, Hey, your no just... one calls me a bear face, okay? You literally have a bear face. What are you talking about? Sorry, pent up aggression. Foxy, when back in high school, used to call me bear face, ugly face, all that stuff, so. But you do have a bear face. He used it as an insult. Whatever, I won't call you stupid bear face again. Or maybe I will, because you know what? You know what, Glamrock Freddy? You are a stupid stupid bear face what i said it yep i'm going for a dip uh, fine fine i'll just close the door then hey no, I, you very well know that i don't have a way to no, glamrock freddy you better open that door right now i'm stuck in the pool are you kidding me? okay okay come on come on there we go <laughs> look what is wrong young missy come here did you just call me young missy yeah i know because that's the only way i can get your attention is if i call you something weird i just want to Squish your head like a hot dog. I don't know what your problem is today, okay? We got through the videos, and then you st immediately stormed off. Yes, because I'm annoyed. Is it because I farted during the video? I told you I'm sorry that it was so loud. Bruh. No, it wasn't because you farted during the video. If anything, that just made it more funny because it's embarrassing for you. When you did it, you had to make a whole speech about cutting it out. Anyways, don't. I guess I have a little bit of pent-up aggression because after the recording, you just talked about Roxanne and how excited you were for the wedding as if that's not what i've heard about for the past month well there was a reason i brought it up this time i needed to tell you that me and her i actually found a place what do you mean we found a house it has ample space we even picked out where gregory's room is going to be and all that but uh, but but am i expected to move in with you and i are roommates you me and monty are roommates what where am i supposed to go you're staying here what so I sent you an email, and I'm going to continue helping pay for the house, but basically, your name is going to be on the deed of this house. You're giving me the house? You basically helped me get back to where I was. I was in a depressed mess after the original breakup with Roxanne, so the house is in your name. I really didn't expect that, so I, I guess just Monty and I are going to be roommates? Yep. He can now move into my room upstairs. Or I could move into your room upstairs and I could have the whole upstairs and he could have the downstairs. You really want to give him the downstairs? Look at this space. You're going to give him the kitchen. No, he won't have the kitchen. That's obviously shared space, but he'll have his basement and stuff. I mean, look at the basement. Look at the basement. Look, he already has a kitchen yeah. down here. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, he can just stay down here. To be fair, he has the absolute best room here. He really does. And if I was selfish, I would literally just take this room. Nah, he can keep it and I'll just have the rest. But doesn't excuse everything else. I'm still annoyed at you, but I'm also really thankful and that was really nice that you still considered letting me have the house and stay here. So. As much as I complain, you and Monty came in a good time in my life where I was at my lowest, honestly. I didn't know where I was going to go in my life. You and Monty helped me figure out what direction my life was going to be. There! Well, this makes things a little bit more awkward. Um, Freddy? Yeah? With you doing this nice thing for me and just in general, you've been a really good friend of mine for a really long time. I, I feel like I should let you know that there may or may not be... How do I put this in a way that you're not going to be really mad? Um, there may or may not be a group of people or animatronics that call themselves the Wedding Wreckers. Oh my god! What? That are planning on crashing your and Roxanne's wedding. Are you kidding? Who's in the group? That is classified information. Um, Monty's definitely going to be in that group, I'm guessing. Actually, I don't think he is. Wait, what? You allowed Monty to be the flower girl, and you promised him cake, so he's not gonna do anything. Maybe I can make him the security guard then. He can easily toss out anyone that's causing trouble. Uh, I don't think he will. Freddy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. How do you know about this unless... Are you part of this group? Um, uh, 
Hmm. Should I confirm or deny or... I will not confirm. I plead the fifth. You are part of the group. Are you kidding me? No, l listen. Uh, I should also probably tell you that Gregory's not coming to your wedding. You convinced him? He was all happy. No. He... Like we even picked out a little tux for him. He agrees with me. The wedding is wrong, Freddy. Look, I've tried everything. If we try ripping it out, it's gonna hurt Roxanne, and the all mechanics agreed. There's only a 20% chance of survival for her if we rip it out. What if I said I had a method that might heighten the chances to, like, 75? <laughs> what would that be? Don't worry about it. I'm still working on the, I guess, fine-tuning of everything. But the point being, I had... A revelation. Honestly, before the maternity chip and everything, Roxanne and I were actually pretty good friends for a while there. You two took turns just making fun of me, I remember. Yeah, well, that's how we bonded, yes, but we hung out a lot outside of, you know, topics relating to you. I mean, we had sleepovers, we went and got our nails done, and genuinely, aside from you, she was one of the best friends that I've ever had, and I just, I had a thought the other day, and... I know the Roxanne from before, she would want me to do this. Look, we discussed it at length that 20% wasn't enough because 80% of her just straight out dying was not a good option. Yes and no. The good thing about being animatronics is we're fixable. <laughs> not exactly. You should sit down for this one. Okay. So, I know you've always argued on the fact that, you know, that we're just animatronics. We should be just be able to be fixed, right? Sure. Well, there's a reason why my dad is my dad. What? He's not just dad in name. He didn't just build me and my brother. You see, a long time ago, my father wanted actual children with his wife. So, okay. he used an ultimate level spell to make a wish. Okay. And essentially, if you wish it or will it, your body becomes bio-organic. Oh Meaning, if you put yourself as bio-organic, like me, you, and Roxanne, we're not fixable if something drastic happens and takes our lives. Well, then what about the whole security breach situation, huh? Roxanne was literally shattered by Gregory, and she still came back to normal. That was a game. She wore a costume for that. Whatever. Did you never wonder why, despite you calling yourself a robot animatronic, that you still felt cravings for food, to drink water, to do all that? Because I like ice cream. But that also means that if Roxanne does not survive whatever you have planned, she's not fixable. Meaning that if you fail this 75%, you just killed her. Is that something you want on your conscience? I don't know. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have told you all about this, because now you have me second-guessing myself. Because it's the right thing to consider before taking a drastic step like this. There's a reason <sighs> I didn't take the 80% chance of her dying. You think I don't miss the old Roxanne? I miss her! A lot! The one that used to call you names and make fun of you and, as from what I heard, was a toxic relationship? She didn't start off like that, okay? Do you know the way she is right now? She was actually quite a bit like that. Yes, she wasn't baby crazy or anything, but she was a lot nicer when we first met. She was just a simple poster girl that was a hint for the game. But then the popularity of Security Breach happened, and she became one of the most popular animatronics on the line. And then that's when she changed. A lot of the maternity chip feel like brought back a lot of the old Roxanne out. I didn't tell you this because you were upset by this whole thing in general. I still am. But she was nice. She was caring, and then... She was nice when she was old Roxanne to me. You brought out a lot of the old Roxanne, but then whenever she saw me, and then, I don't know, she built this competitive nature in her head that she has to be more popular than me. That's why we broke up. I guess one thing that I liked about the maternity chip is that she didn't never talk about how popular she was anymore. She just was Roxanne again. I guess. I don't want to talk about this anymore tonight. I just... I, I'm gonna go to bed. Don't you want to eat a dinner? No. I have a lot to think about. So do I. I guess I'll see you tomorrow for our Circus Baby and Glamrock Freddy show recording. Yeah. Hopefully we've both come to an answer by then. Yeah. We'll see.